Hey guys, welcome back. We're taking a look at a Russian figure today. His name is Boris and he was released in 2003. So this is an earlier Dragon model, but um, still is really nicely detailed considering he is older. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his box. He's from the Ukrainian front, 1943 to 44. Red Army LMG gunner and he is a sergeant. We've got an awesome picture of the figure there. It looks like he's crouching down on a, could be a tank, I believe. But a really cool picture. And here's the back of the box. Alright, so there's his box. Let's bring out the figure now. So here's Boris. He's a pretty simple figure, as is the case with a lot of the Russians. Um, but still, he's really nice, very sturdy figure, uh, pretty easy to put together, and overall, I think it looks really good. So it's always a challenge tracking down Russian figures, so I was very happy to finally get Boris. I've been trying to get him for a while. I was outbid many times in the past trying to get him so um but i did eventually get him off ebay i paid uh around 70 with shipping so a little pricey but um you know the russians are just very difficult to get a hold of so um you're usually gonna pay a good amount to get one um but yeah let's go ahead and look at his weapon which is the light machine gun so there he is holding it. Looks really nice. Alright, here it is up close. We got, uh, you can see the bipod. Okay, and we got the strap there adjustable strap and uh, the sights do pop up and then you got the really cool uh, that round drum magazine on there and you can see the bullet inside of there so a really nice model all right So there's the helmet on the figure, looks good and it fits nicely on his head. You can see there is some some uh, little details on there to make it look battle worn. Okay and here is the head sculpt, which uh, as I said earlier, you know for an uh, early dragon model. I think the head sculpt is uh, very nicely detailed. Some of the earlier models look pretty, f um, you know, fake uh, next to the later dragon models, but this one holds up pretty well, I think. Moving on, let's look at his equipment here. So, as you can see, he's got two bags uh, across his chest there. This one here. Uh, would hold another clip there for his light machine gun, I believe. They don't give you an extra one. Um, and then over here we got this bag. In the back we've got his canteen and then a knife. Okay, and then the belt is uh, a little different compared to some of the other Russian models. I actually like this one better. It definitely is uh, more secure. The other ones, um, if you know what I'm talking about, the other ones uh, pop off really easily. So definitely like the belt better on this one. Um, but I really like his quilted jacket. It's a little, little puffy, but um, I think it looks good though. And then you can see I've got uh, the shoulder tabs there, they were actually underneath of the quilted jacket on his uh, shirt underneath there. 
or the uniform underneath. Uh, but I took them off and put them onto his jacket to match what was displayed on the box there. And uh, I think it looks really good. All right. Um, we got his pants. And then lastly, we've got his boots, which are really nice as well. All right, guys. Well, that is the Russian figure Boris. Very happy to have him in the collection, finally. Um, I, I have actually been able to pick up a lot more Russians. I got uh, two more Russians to review in the next coming weeks, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this review. I definitely recommend picking this figure up. He's really nice, um, especially considering he is an older model. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next review.